Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 2. In the last episode, we did some endless action in the Pirate Seas. Now we're moving on to our third world, which is, ooh, the Wild West. Three out of five difficulties. So the first two worlds were two out of five. Now we're moving into three out of five territory. We'll see how this goes, and hopefully everything turns out okay. The Wild West. Head down the dusty trail for a showdown with the outlaw zombies of yesteryear. Gather up your plants for the big brain rush of 1850. We get a lot of different cool plants in this world, including the shovel perk, instant recharge, one-up first aid, and some pinatas. Let's use our key. I'm excited for this one, for sure. This looks cool. So let's head in the Wild West. We'll get our first 10 levels done in today's episode, another 10 in the next episode, and then five more after that. I like how our house is a little wagged this time. That's cool. So let's get into it. First level of the Wild West. We're gonna run into some cowboy zombies, I can only imagine. I can only hope. It'd be pretty cool. Uh, six shooters, locked and loaded. Old timey piano music, downloaded. Chance of taco, 0.015%. Margin for error, 0.016%. Huh, okay. Uh, drag the minecart to a new location. Ooh, look at this, so we can, oh, that's cool. All right, so we can point the pea shooter in different locations like that and we can uh, take out zombies, no problem. That, that's very interesting. So I get, can we do that back here? We can. Great work, you can plant on empty minecarts. Ah, okay. So we got all of our plants to choose from right now. I'm sort of used to playing endless at the moment. Definitely wanna put a pea shooter on it or something to that equivalent, I guess. We could try like a repeater. Definitely possible. Probably don't want to do anything like a cabbage ball. I think I want to keep things pretty simple for now. There's lots of options for sure. Let me try something like this. We'll see how it goes. It's definitely weird. <laughs> definitely weird for sure. Um, get as many sunflowers as we can. This is gonna be odd. Cause now we get the control, I don't know, it's just. I might wanna dig this guy up. Do we get sun out of it? We do, oh cool. Maybe I shouldn't have done that so soon, <laughs> actually. Uh, maybe I, I what, did that a little too soon. I mean, I could've done a potato mine. We would've been fine. I mean, obviously we don't wanna just ignore the mine carts because they take up so much real estate. We wanna make sure that's you know being put to its best ability, which might mean that we wanna rush a repeater so we can do something like that. That really might be our best bet. So, oh, okay, that actually worked out pretty well. So we might wanna do a second repeater as well. I already got our first bit of uh, power up there. Let's move you down like this, get another repeater here. So definitely I think that slowing down for something like this might actually work pretty well. I'm gonna keep getting cabbage bolts set up on this other part of the lane. And definitely, okay, he should be able to handle it, but let's get another cabbage bolt there. This is bizarre. Like I like it, but getting used to it's gonna be tough. Just being able to move our plants that have already been planted down. Definitely not something I'm used to. We got 100 coins there, though, that's nice. But I gotta say, I've been really happy with how fast we've been moving through the uh, the worlds. I thought it would be like 10 plus episodes per world, but no, it hasn't been. I have misremembered how long these worlds were. We've been making pretty good pacing, and it's really refreshing. You know, that's sort of something I do like about this game over PVZ1 is the different environments you get to go to. Like, that really is like the next step for PVZ, is like exploring different worlds and stuff. I mean, it's the same world. Saying it's still planet Earth, but just like different times, different locations, like that's really fun. Just being constructed to the backyard had its, you know, fun points to it, but it definitely had its also sort of underwhelming points to it. So just cool to be somewhere else. Anyways, as you can see, we're doing all right. I just gotta really pay attention and hone in on where I'm setting things up. See, the potato mine's gonna do its thing over that way. Uh, let's do this. Try to get this guy out of here. There we go, and that's Wild West Day 1 already done. Alrighty, very cool. And we, whoa, we get ourselves the forward backward speed that we got in PVZ1. This guy was for the mining zombies, will that still be the case? Split pea, shoots peas forward and backwards. Seems like that's the case, let's keep moving. Okay, so I don't exactly know why we got the split pea, but we, oh, you know what? That would be great for the zombies that do get past the minecart. Gotcha, okay, so we could definitely work with that. I think we should definitely get the cabbage pole, kernel pole, and this. 
Maybe I should try a cherry bomb, slide that in there somewhere just in case. I feel like that's the case. I don't need cabbage bowl as much as I need kernel. And we'll get cherry bomb just in case maybe we need it as like a last ditch effort. But I'll definitely get split pea set up in there this time. This will certainly be interesting. We got some new zombies to deal with and stuff. Seemed like it, it seemed like there was some guy with TNT in his pocket. Maybe he like throws the TNT or something. We'll find out sooner or later. But this is cool, because this is where I'm like really in the dark about what's gonna happen. I mean, a lot of the plants I know from PVZ2, I know them because of other games, like PVZ Heroes and Garden Warfare. So it's just really cool to experience some that are only really in this game, or have a different presence in this game than they have in others. So like, I could try the split pea here, but I feel like it'd be a bit underwhelming. I mean, I'll try it, because I feel like that's what they are trying to get across to me. It's like, hey, use the split pea. And then maybe I'll just do the repeater on like places like this. But that's the case, I wanna get that set up pretty soon. There we go. And I'll do this here. Okay, so what, what's going on with this guy? He's looking a little wild. Also, I haven't gotten rid of this guy yet, so be careful. Whoa, okay, he jumps, he jumps. Okay, beat him up fast, beat him up fast. I get it, okay. So it might actually be worth it to have split peas on the main lanes and repeaters on the minecarts. That might have been a smarter tactic. But hey, you know, this is harder to establish, but once we get it set up, it's actually not too bad. But just being able to move around in compliance with that could definitely be an issue moving forward. Uh, let's do that. There's lots going on here. Just trying to make sure everything turns out well. That one of them's holding a different flag. That's cool, I didn't realize I hold different flags. Depending on the area they're in. So we're doing pretty good against this. We're about to win. Okay, then we did fine. I'll do a cherry bomb just for good measure. Awesome stuff. So, <laughs> look at this 10 gallon hat. It's huge. Alrighty, so our first little pinata of this area. What do we get? We got 100 coins. We get, ooh, four winter melon. Before we even get the normal melon pull, we get four winter melon for whatever reason, four winter melon experience. And we get four pea pods. Yeah, I remember these guys from uh, PVZ Heroes. So we got, we got a zombie using a piano over there. And we got more minecart action happening here. Surely it's interesting. So I wanna do the split pea again. There's none of those jumping zombies this time. So I'm gonna leave the split pea alone. Huh. Maybe I could do Colonel Pult. I mean, it'd be fun to do coconut cannon on one, but I feel like it's overdoing it if I do that. It's gonna be a little bit too risky. I could see, you know, a walnut cherry bomb and spike weed doing a good service. And then if we're not using Snapdragon, I might as well do iceberg lettuce just for some good measure. I actually didn't do potato mine. How unlike me. Uh, that's fine, I guess, if we do just use that iceberg lettuce the way it's supposed to be used and really get that split pea out here super soon. Like, we need to get it out here pronto if that's what we want to do. So, iceberg lettuce, you. And I guess maybe not the perfect location for some of this. It's a little wonky, but we'll make it work. There's going to be some overlap with the minecart, so which could definitely be advantageous. So, get that, put that there, get one more sun, and I might just work on more sunflowers then for a little bit. And just keep the, the split pea right there. Because, you know, a very low amount of plants can go a long way now, is the big thing. There we go. I definitely need to get this next one. Oh my. Actually, a lot of zombies are popping up really fast now, and I'm getting very concerned. Uh, do that. Come on, I'm gonna slow this down a little bit. <laughs> okay, so here comes this guy, and he's down the center lane, so we will actually be able to put all, or both of our repeaters on him, which will be great. And they're making all the zombies dance, which probably means, oh, they shift lanes, making them harder to hit and keep up with and hard to strategize against. So we definitely wanna get rid of you. Probably just by doing a cherry bomb, actually, that was a little bit of a waste because we broke his piano at the last moment. But hey, cool. Now we know what they do. And knowledge is at least a fair portion of the battle. There we go. Let's get that there. So now we have a full set of kernel pulch, which will be great. I can now start working on walnuts. I wonder if the pianos will f have the flattening ability that like the barrels do. I sure hope not, <laughs> but you never know. Okay, this is looking a little nasty, so I might do a little bit of that. 
just to sort of freeze guys up and start taking them out. I don't even know where the piano guy is. I don't see him. But I can cherry bomb if I absolutely needed to. I mean, I'm making good sun here. Here he is, ready? Got him. Okay, we just have to worry about this guy up here and then we'll be good. All right, that should be fine. Very interesting. All right, so day three. Storm through without too much of an issue. What in the world? We have a TNT exploder box thingy. Yeah, this is usually connected to a TNT thing. My Uncle Milo used to have one of these. He called it a boom box. Actually, that's close enough. I'll allow it. All right, we get the big bad boots. Surviving level after level of escalating zombie attacks. Test your skills in this endless zone. Very cool. So that's going to be our endless. It seems like that's going to be a thing. Because I think it was like that for uh, Pirate Seas. The third level unlocks the endless mode. Got to keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, cool. We got endless mode. We'll check that out in a couple episodes time. But not right now. Instead, we're moving on over to level four. Big bad boots is now available. <laughs> or maybe it's a bottee. I'm not sure. Uh, oh wait, wait, what's happening? Something with plants and zombies. Let's get these plants to the watering hole. What? He said, uh, I don't know what he, I missed out. I was gonna click on the next level and he just, I don't know. I guess uh, at least we can get a level four. Whoa, Wild West Day four is looking pretty cool. Got the conveyor belt. It appears the zombies have been gathered in that corral. A uh, not okay corral. Better plant something before they get loose. So what's happening? Okay. They really are corralled zombies. Interesting. I wanna put this one on one of the longer ones. Gotcha. Okay, this will definitely be interesting. This is like, this is a cool little mini game right here for sure. All right, you're going down. All right, so it's definitely, ooh, it's very strategic. You only get one plant per thing. We'll get those there for now. May have to end up replacing them at some point or another, but we'll leave it be for now for sure. Oh, we got that guy. Huh. Yeah, let's try that. I'll definitely slow it down a little bit so I can move you here, because you're gonna jump. I can't prevent that, right? I mean, maybe if I beat you up fast enough. Aha, so. I can prevent him from jumping if I defeat him right away. That's good. Very interesting level so far. Got more jumpers though. I'm gonna get him to this side and see how that goes. So we got the jumper dude over this way, got another one over here, so let's just get rid of them right off the bat, right off the bat, not right off the back. All right, now that split piece sort of just has to chill out. I mean, they're all sort of normal pea shooters from the front, so this is all sort of the same effect. There we go. Not too much of a rush when it's not the jumper, guys. Okay. Oh, now we have a split P. I'm thinking what might be smart here is doing that. And I, no, a repeater, you know what I mean, not split P. We'll have to see how this ends up working out. But actually, no, I need to prioritize this guy in the center because if he jumps over, we won't have any way to deal with him. That's definitely a bit of a risk. Okay, beat this guy up. Come on now, we can do it. Oh, oh, what am I doing with this guy? Just getting the work. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, we should be able to survive this. Excellent, there's some coins. We did it, cool. All right, so we have another repeater. I definitely have to, I know it might seem silly, but I think it's well worth it to do this. Even if we have less firepower overall, we'll have more controllable firepower, and sometimes it's way more important. Let's focus down cone heads while we have the chance. Yeah, that guy went way down there. Actually, yeah, let me focus like that. So once again, it's like three shots. Do that one more time, that'll be enough to take him out. Excellent, that should be good. And there we go, we got it. So I think we need like one more round to survive here. We get another split pea, a repeater, you know what I mean. What do we have to survive? Buckethead's gonna be on the top, so that's where I'm gonna put it. Is up this way. Okie doke, let's get going. So to start things off, I'm gonna do this. Like really hammer down that bucket head. Like maybe get two more shots over to that guy. That works pretty well. And now that guy's down for the count. I just need to do a couple more shots of this guy. And unfortunately the split piece sort of just a sitting duck. And there we go, we already got it, that was quick. 
Wait, there's still more. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Um. Gotcha. Let's get to it. So where's the jumping zombie? Looks like there's actually one down this way. I really wanna work on that. Then we got another one over this way. So I don't wanna move the three-peater whatsoever. Okay, do a bit of this. Yeah, gotcha, this should be good. Okay, if we speed this up, we should win with this. There it is. But there's still one more left to survive. It just keeps going. Okay, so I can actually remove something now. What would I wanna remove? I don't know if I do wanna remove anything. I mean, maybe this? I don't think it'll start until I actually get a place, though. That's weird. Um, so, as per usual, I do wanna start with the jumpers, which is one right here. Okay, so I'm gonna move you guys up like that, move these guys here, and that should work pretty well. Can focus on these guys now. That's good. And got it. So that's for real everything this time, right? Final wave, no it's not. Hold on. We do have a power up there. Okay, wrong button. So it will not start unless I place this plant. So I'm just gonna place it over the plant we already have. This is a lot of decisions to make here. And like really quickly. So focus on the jumpers as soon as we can so we got this jumper. But we need to focus on this guy as soon as possible because he's the one we can't do much about if he actually jumps. Okay, so we got that. Now we have to deal with this. And this is where we're just gonna sort of join them at their own game, the little rodeo. Because I need to get this guy. Oh, not this guy, this guy, come on. He's all over the place right now. Come on, get him, get him, get him. One more time, there we go, there we go, there we go. Get that going on. And then get these guys over here, what am I doing? There we have it, go at him. And there we have it, we won something, we won a little bean. Oh, this adorable bean. This is, was well, this, no, this is not. Yeah, this is not the thing I thought it was. I was thinking about the coffee bean. This is the chili bean. Zombies that eat it are defeated and release gas. Well, isn't that pleasant? <laughs> Let's take a look at our travel log. The zombie dealt it and his friends felt it. Interesting. All right, so let's open this up. What do we get as a reward for unlocking the chili bean? We get uh, 250 coins. I thought it was gonna be another 100. Nope, I'm wrong. Nice, we get some stuff for the split pea. One point, better than nothing. We get two points for the chili bean out of 10. And we get a bonus five for the star fruit. I don't know, one more unlock in a star fruit. Who knows? Might be a premium plan, actually. And yeah, that was pretty cool. So let's keep moving forward. We still have more levels to tackle in Wild West. All right, so level five over this way, almost halfway through for today's episode. Looks pretty good. So we'll, we'll be able to use that chili bean. Apparently it makes zombies fart. So it's like, I don't really know exactly how that's gonna work. Lots of interesting stuff here, actually. So first off, I wanna be able to do this combo, because I really need to be able to freeze that guy if we need it, and then also split P, and then we can do the farting zombie action. And then maybe a cherry bomb, once again, just as an absolute backup if we need it. Speaking of backing up, the zombies are gonna back up and they smell a bad fart from the chili beans, so we'll see how that's gonna work. Hmm. So for right now, really all we can do is not pause the game, but speed things up, earn up coins, and get it going. There we go. Uh, so we're gonna work on the split peas out this way. Um, yeah, and then we'll get the repeater on the minecart as per usual. That'll be the most realistic thing to do. So once again, I should probably rush it if we go like this. I might wanna start slowing things down here in a moment. Yeah, I'll do that now. It's 125 for the split piece though, and that's quite expensive. It ends up being worth it, in my opinion. Because, you know, just having that protection from the TNT zombies can always be good. So let's try this out on this guy. So he's just gonna fart. Oh my. <laughs> Well, that would definitely be nice to use against a really powerful zombie. Like, what happens if you use it against a gargantua? I'm sure that guy has a stomach of steel. So look, let's just try to attack this guy, because this zombie with the, the black hat is new. Whoa, he's got a little thing. 
Got like a lid to a furnace. All right, let's freeze him. Definitely a character you want to use this bean against. Huh. Honestly, we got most of what I wanted to set up here. And we can continue to place more split peas for now. I definitely want to be prepared for whatever I can. Another split pea over this way. Okay, move this down here so we can get another power up. But then, I'm going to bring it up this way to deal with the cone head. A huge wave of zombies is approaching. Surprise, surprise. They're always approaching. Got one there. So I want to try it on this guy again, because he's tough to deal with. Oh no, let's freeze you. Oh, I didn't get the guy I wanted. Oh well, I tried. I mean, luckily we have no split peas that we should have some protection even if they get by. Oh, somebody ate it. And I think they farted on his friend who got frozen because of it. They just sort of have to cope with life for a moment. That's amazing. Okay, how about no? Okay, that's a little weird. He fires on both sides. We haven't showcased that, so I'm fine with doing that. Let's go ahead and freeze these guys a little bit. And make sure the split pea is doing everything he can. Or the repeater. Repeater, split pea, I get it mixed up a lot. I know, I know. Can we? I definitely want to see his move, but I might want to wait. I'm gonna wait until like his plant food move. I want to wait until we are uh, starting the final wave of zombies. That'll be fun. Got it, okay. And they restore pretty quickly. There's another one. So I could feed it to this guy so we just don't even have to worry about him. Even though I don't know if that's the biggest deal in the world for us to worry about him. Okay, we got more plant pow power ups here. A huge wave of zombies are coming in, but they're not quite yet here. There we go. Somehow we're just slowly but surely getting through this. Okay, so here's the zombies. Let's try this. Everybody fart! Whoa, okay, they sort of like the potato mine move. Let's do more of that. <laughs> oh, I love it. They're everywhere. There's more of them. More of them. More chili beans. Everybody's farting. They say we smell the Delta, but everybody's smelling it right now. There we go. Come on, let's do one more. Oh, you're jumping. Probably should have foreseen that one, but it's fine. <laughs> okay, they're sort of worse than uh, the digger zombies in some way. I guess actually not really, because the digger zombies are sort of immune for the first while. Like, you have to deal with them from behind. So I guess these guys actually aren't so bad. Alrighty then. Very cool. I like <laughs> so many chili beans just hanging out. It's wonderful. And that's level five completed. We'll get a bag of coins for it. Oh, so here we are on level six. It's high noon and waves of zombies about. Time to show them who's got the fastest plants in time. I just, I just go ridiculous with his voice. Uh, plan your defense and defeat the zombies. I would love to. All right, well, that's a lot of zombies. So we have 2,000 sun to spend. Let's go repeater. There's no, ooh, there's no uh, TNT zombies, so we don't have to worry about that. I still don't know if the piano, might be worth it to do some spike weeds against the piano now that I'm thinking about it. We could try the chili bean a bit more. Might be worth my while. If we really wanted to have fun, we could do the cannons. Oh, I'm so tempted, but I don't think it's gonna be a good idea. We'll do the walnuts. And then just sort of fill up the rest of it with stuff, even if I'm not using it. I'll put this here just to tempt me, because I'm evil to myself like that. So that'd be 1,600, no, that'd be 1,200. I wanna be too bad, because then I'd have, what, 800 left over? I can't, though, I gotta do this. I don't know if the Gatling pee is in PVZ2. I hope it is. I don't see why I wanna be. There we go. I'm gonna do that again. And we'll do a little bit of this. And then we won't have enough for a chili bean on every spot. So we'll just leave it like this, I think, and then we'll put the chili beans where we might need them. And let's see how this goes. So lots of zombies everywhere. I thought this might've been a big mistake. I don't know if I did this correctly, but hey, at least we could focus on a lot of zombies for sure. There's gonna be a lot of them too. Because even two spike weeds is cheaper than one spike rock. So definitely, like, I didn't feel like, I don't feel like I made a mistake there. 
Let's get rid of this guy as soon as I can. Come on now. Almost got him. So I'm trying to protect these walnuts for as long as I can. Oh, so that immediately pops it. Which is both good and not good because I just used my last one. Um, huh. That's not gonna be easy to work with. But that could be a real problem. And I'll get rid of these pianos, which is like a great thing. But at the same time, that's like one less spike weed that'll be protecting us. Now I have one chili bomb to use. Not chili bomb, chili bean. Okay. Got rid of that dude. Go over this way, try to beat up this guy a little bit. Awesome. I feel like using these guys as a group is sometimes the best bet, or at least you know, small groups like this could be good. It just takes down specific zombies very, very quickly. So let's work on this guy. So some of them actually have something under their poncho, I think it's called, and some of them do not, is the big thing I'm starting to realize here. So you sort of have to pay attention to them and see what ends up being revealed. I got it now, okay. I was like, weird, it's like, I got rid of that dude's like little lid faster than some of the other guys, and that's why. So a huge wave of zombies are approaching. They actually happen really fast, and we do have plant power-ups. I can save those, though, for when I really need them, hopefully. There we go, come on. So I'm definitely glad I didn't use the coconut cannon here. While I love that thing, I don't think it would've helped very much. So people are dancing around like crazy, but I think that's fine. There we go. So let's focus on these guys up here, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe this guy. We just need to get rid of zombies real fast. Got that coin. This dude's done for. Moving up this way. We'll focus on th these guys. Come on, just a little bit more. A Little bit more. Walnuts are holding on tight, and I'm so proud of them for it. Let's start moving some guys up here. There we go. Because that guy's almost done. There we go. Spike weed will finish him off. Okay, we did it on the first try and everything. That's great. I'm glad with that. And we get ourselves a pea pod. 125 sun for this thing. Very interesting for sure. All right, the pea pod. Plant multiple times on the same spot to multiply the damage. Ooh, that would be perfect for the minecart. So, let's go and check out the uh, quest log here. I'll let the pea pod pile a pea pod for massive firepower. Let's open this up. What do we got? We get 250 coins, getting us to 44,000 in total. We get ourselves uh, two more experience for the chili bean, getting us to four in total. Two more experience for the pea pod, getting us to six in total. And that's about it. Not too bad. Okay, so let's see, let's see what's going on next um, in the next level. All right, here we are. Like cow tipping, zombie tipping is best done from the side. Why would you tip a cow? Trust me, don't, do not try to and tip a cow from behind. That's just mean. All right, well, let's continue our trip through Wild West uh, and see what we can do. So there's lots of zombies, and they're all the poncho zombies are the big ones here. What about our minecart situation? We do have two minecarts here. Mmm, we could put a walnut in that front one. That could work. And we don't have the jumping TNT zombies, so we don't have to worry about split P. Let's do cherry bomb, just in case. Spike weed, just in case. But then most importantly, pea pod. Actually, instead of spike weed, let's do chili bean. We'll try that out. We'll see how things go. I think it could go pretty well. Uh, so obviously focus on sunflowers and then we'll work on pea pod a little bit. It'll be an interesting experience for sure. That's why I wanted to get the potato mine figured out as well because I'm sure we're gonna need that. Got it. I'm gonna do this and put a potato mine there. Don't have to worry about them for a little while. Because we need to snack, stack, snack on, stack on as many pea pods as possible, as soon as possible. We also need the sunflowers established to do that. The only stacking that's gonna be happening is the zombies trying to snack on us. We don't want that, so we're gonna keep planting stuff. Can also do two rows of sunflowers without it being too much of an issue if that's what we're gonna focus on. So I can actually do another potato mine for you at the least while I'm focusing on establishing other things. I'm gonna freeze at least one of these guys. That's where maybe having a uh, walnut there might be really helpful. Let's definitely get our second pea pod there. I really like that idea, it's fun, for sure. But it's already getting quickly overwhelming. 
there we go. Maybe I should have had more than just a pea pod. Maybe I should have done like also pea shooters or cabbage pole or something. We'll have to wait and see. Go ahead and do that. I'm gonna freeze this guy. Let's try doing this strategy. Plenty one on a minecart, shell on wheels, that's cool. It's definitely a strategy they wanted us to try at one point or another. There we go. Max out a pea pod on a minecart, there we go, get that one, pod squad. I like it. So we got two rows of sunflowers. So now with the max out pea pod, I guess I could start working on pea pods normally just in other areas, so I could just do this. I probably just wanna get one of each in each area. I'm gonna, oh yeah, why, why are you not moving? <laughs> I'm being very silly by doing it that way. Come on now, uh, got it. Move you up here. Yeah, and you're going down no problem. Get another one of these guys. I know it's a very expensive endeavor we're trying out here, but it's working so far. That's what's important. So I might just freeze this guy instead. Would make it easier. Got it. All right, so a huge wave of zombies is coming, and we do have the cherry bomb. And we also have the, oh boy, lots of zombies. We also have the chili bomb. So that'll be good. Okay, lots of stuff going on here. I'm just trying to take out as many things as I can. I'm trying to double this up. You know what? Eh, I don't know if I need to use it. There we go. And I could use that there as like a last ditch effort if I need it. And it might actually end up being that way because things are getting a little wild here. Okay, yeah, move this back down here. <laughs> oh my. Where can I put this in? Yeah, let's get a triple shot there. Oh, he's gonna fall apart now with that fart, so we should be fine. We still have a bit more to survive here though, so I'm trying to be careful. There it is, okay. Got that one there. I mean, I still got that guy up on the top that's only one, so I need to fix that. Okay. It's working out okay so far. Like, this definitely isn't going badly, but I definitely could see how this could fall apart at any second if we're not gonna continuously move and fix things. So, what I'm trying for at the moment. Okay. Uh, Get that sun. Yeah, triple that guy. Okay, he was the only one who wasn't tripled, so now that's just fixed. I mean, we're making plenty of sun, so I'm hoping things will just turn out okay. Let's go ahead and cherry bomb right here. Definitely think that's necessary. This is the final wave right now. Oh, I don't have enough for this. Let's try this out, ready? Oh, one, two, three, four. So I guess it's, he just fires five big shots. I guess maybe not even depending on how many pods he has. That's still pretty cool. I like it. Very fun, so we get a letter. You can only imagine it's the zombies threatening us in some way or another. That's typically what they do. So we'll move on to the eighth level here in just a moment. Wanted, delicious brain meat. It appears brains are outlawed around here. Quick neighbor, play dumb. We'll follow your lead, user Dave. Yikes, the burn. Delicious brain meat, reward of 500 US dollars. We have the money, really, Sheriff Hat Guy. <laughs> All right, so the next level, Zomboss is here. Greetings, plant rustler. Agents are arriving to mark your brains as my property. Salutations, Dr. Edgar Zomboss. I don't want my brains all marked up. It, looked, it took forever to get them clean. <laughs> wow. All right, level objective, survive a massive attack during the Wild West and survive without any lawnmowers. That sounds like quite a scary objective. Is it gonna be conveyor belt? I guess it is. We do have some gargantuars to deal with and everything. I'm gonna put a peapod to the back here and I'm definitely gonna stack him up as soon as I can. It looks like that's what the game wants me to do. Definitely a lot more interactive than your average Plants vs. Zombies environment so far. It's very interesting. Like you really gotta be involved on what's going on on the screen. I'm gonna hold that, that chili bean until I need it. We have a walnut. I could do the walnut strategy. It seems like it'd be a good idea. So, yeah, just do that for now. And we'll get another pea pod set up. Really get them moving. You do something like this. And I'll hold on to that walnut just in case this one took, takes too much of a beating. That should work. And sometimes five shots is just not enough, apparently. Okay, here we go. 
Let's switch that around a little bit. I think I'm gonna chili bean this guy, just so I don't have to deal with that. Seems like a good bat. There we go. Thankfully that fart was very helpful. Okay, these guys are down. I could like superpower somebody down like this. Oh wait, this guy's still kicking. Now he ain't. This guy's really not having a good day now. The problem is his friend. You know, like how's he gonna be? There we go. Okay, he had a lot. I hope that, that we can handle this. Let me just do that. I probably should have that as a bit of a preventative. Let's actually make sure this guy's doing something. Okay, you guys can go down here. That guy should be able to handle that dude, no problem. And indeed he can work on the bucket heads now. And we'll get you here. That should work. Here we go, at least get a double shot out this way. And that's going at least some way. Yeah, go ahead and do that. We need to spread things out a little bit. Yeah, so we're really moving with this. It was a pretty good idea to set up this way. I mean, there was no really other way to do it. This was the expected way, I think. Okay, um, let's do a bit of that, and then maybe even get that set up there. Okay, he was no problem. And I'm not having much under the poncho. There we go. Excellent. So I don't think we, yeah, we need to worry about the walnut too much. Like I could put it in front of this guy, actually. I feel like that'd be better. And it looks like all of our pea pods so far are maxed out. So if we run into any pea pods, we want, might just want to spread them. Ooh, okay. So we do have this split pea now. I'm gonna have to wait and see where we want to end up putting that. I am getting a little overwhelmed now. Uh, let's try getting rid of this first, actually. They got rid of our walnut on the minecart. I'm not really putting it in any good spots. There we go, come on, switch back up here. And I might just wanna end up doing that. Okay, going back over here, just like, this is technically 15 peas at once, like how crazy is that? Will this actually defeat him before he defeats us? That uh, that dude up there? I don't know, so let's do that. Oh my gosh, it's getting a little crazy. Uh, There we go, there we go, there we go, we're fine, we're fine. Right, I think so. Whoa, we got the big gargantuar. I think that he has what they call cattle prod or something. I don't like those. I don't like those one bit. Okay, so what happens if I give him a chili bean? Um, also, let me just, okay, he just smacks it away. That's not fun, dude. Okay, we should be able to handle this now. He's just gonna fart and fall apart. You know, I might need to do another one of those. No, you squished my pea pod, you monster! Ah, oh, that's fine, I got, that's why I got so many extras. I'm glad I haven't planted these at all. Jeez, that stinks. It's fine though, we can make this work, I think. It's so overwhelming. I'm very not good at the mine carts. I can tell you that much. Okay, yeah, get that there so it's back to being maximum. Let's get these guys to stop the dancing fun. I'm sorry that I have to ruin your fun, but I really gotta. Get rid of that piano. Awesome. Okay. Got that coin. We're almost towards the end here, for better or for worse. I got another peep, but I have to hold on to that, just in case. I'm gonna get this guy all set up. I have a feeling I'm gonna need that to be that way. All right, final wave. We got two of them. Why two of them? All right, let's see how this goes. We're, we're gonna fart everybody up. That might work pretty well. It might not work at all. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> a little bit in the middle with it. Okay, yeah, dodge that stuff. Just go at him any way we can right now. Come on. Get him. Get him, you can do it. You can do it. I can't believe you ate through that. Come on, dude. No, no, no. I'm not letting this guy get us. It should beat him. Yes, it did. Okay, cool. Just gotta focus on this guy now. Whew, that got close towards the end. <laughs> really close. All right, well, we won. There we go. Giddy up, unleashed a Wild West Gargantuar. Very cool. So, as you can see, we got ourselves another pinata, and that also means we only have one more level left to tackle in today's episode. That'll be cool. We got 100 coins, I feel like we deserve more than that for completing that level, but we also get four 
extra experience for the Chili Bean. He's at eight out of 10 now. Four for the Taw Nut, who we don't even have unlocked. That's cool. And that's gonna be it. Yep, okie doke, that was fun. All right, so our level objectives are complete. So what's going on in the next level, level 10? It wants us to unlock a new world. I'm not ready for that. I'm ready to go back into the Wild West. I don't know why it wants us to do that. Okay, so actually, no, that was level eight, so we have two more levels left, Never mind. Okay, level nine, what do we got? I am not exactly sure. Oh, hey, Crazy, crazy Dave, these plants are mine. Well, not mine, yours. They're not for the mine. Carts, oh, they're for the, okay, never mind. Uh, they are for the mine carts. Survive the zombie attack with the given plants. We'll do what we can. Got lots of zombies to deal with. Let's get planting. So we have sunflower, split pea, chili bean, walnut, lightning reed, I think it's called. Yeah, I remember that from PVZ Heroes. I think that's what we're unlocking for completing this. And my favorite, the melon pulp. Or the actually the winter melon. I love that thing. Okay, so what do we wanna do about this guy to start things off? You know what, we're gonna chili bean him. Get him out of here, just like that. Focus on the sunflowers for now, that'll be much better. Definitely these episodes are going a little bit slower than they were before because I can't use the speed up function and that's slowly adding more and more time to it all. So let's try the lightning reed. I don't know if that's exactly what I'm supposed to put there. It's a very weird plant. Uh, but I'll have to figure it out as we go. It is sort of weird how it expects you to figure out a plant you've never used before. Come on. He just seems to zap zombies. And he's not doing it very quickly. There we go, he got him. Let's try that one. Oh, you know what? I should probably put the melon pulp back here. Sorry, Lightning Reed. I'll, I'll, I'll get you back there. I'll get you set up somewhere. Just like that. They're a little bit cheaper. Hmm. I mean, this is working pretty well now. So, I do like that. I definitely wanna get a split piece somewhere. Honestly, that might be where I'm supposed to get this. I'll just have to pay attention. Okay, yeah, let's winter melon you. I get another one of these. These guys aren't working out too well so far. This is, I sort of have to figure out what I'm doing. Don't eat that. Oh, they bounce between zombies. Okay, got you, I didn't realize that. Okay, that's very cool. That I like. That's gonna take a second to figure out, so let me slow things down a little bit and see how we can go from there. I might want to have another row of sunflowers at some point. But for right now, if this is working, let it keep working. Um. Yeah, this is actually becoming a big problem. I'm a little worried. No, 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 don't you eat my melon pole. I will be so upset if you do that. There we go, there we go, there we go. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. I'm getting it figured out now. We're rolling. Okay, that's good. I will probably get a split pea here, even though it's a little bit of an odd place for him. I think we can get through this. I'm not seeing any of the other jumping zombies actually jumping. Make sure that you're actually in a good spot so that you're throwing stuff and keep it moving. There we go. Okay. Well, these lightning reeds are showing everybody who's boss, except for that guy, apparently. Okay, this might be a good sh shot to do this. I might want to save some of these out. Gotta be careful, there's another one. Awesome, didn't even realize he had one. Oh, let's get these guys, maybe. Oh, they're being tough. Get back up this way. Leave these split peas alone. A huge wave of zombies are approaching. We can handle it, I think. Put that back up that way. Make sure you're actually attacking. More lightning rings if I can manage. No, 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 no. Do this, do that. Attack as many people as possible. And then as soon as it's done its thing, we do it again and again. <laughs> that should be good. Oh, we get another one. Awesome. More zombies are making their way in, so just be ready for it. Let's try out also the effect for the lightning reed. Whoa, look at that. Little storm cloud just goes around, starts speeding up zombies. That's cool. I like that. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. So day nine was actually quite easy. I mean, once we sort of figured out what to do what these plants did and the best way to set them up, what was this lightning reed we had to figure out? Very nice. Okie doke. So 125 sun for a lightning reed and it zaps several chickens or zombies per strike. Why chickens specifically? Is that something we're running into soon? Chickens? I guess so. And we unlocked the lightning reed, shock multiple foes at high speeds. 
Okay, cool. So what do we get inside of here? We get 250 coins again. We get a couple more points for our pea pod. We're at eight out of 10. Two points for our lightning ring, two out of 10. And we're good to move forward to for real this time, the last level of the day. All right, level 10 of the Wild West. Let's see what we can get done here. Looks like they're throwing everything at us. Oh, I do see the guy with the chickens up there. See him? Okay, that's gonna be interesting. So, let's get the reeds, or not the reeds, or the lightning reeds, yeah, but let me get the sunflower first. Let's do something like that. I'm almost wanting a twin sunflower. I feel like it's not gonna happen as fast as I need it to, but maybe we could do sunflower and twin. Do a bit of that. I don't know what we should put back there on the mine carts. I mean, maybe split peas? I feel like I, I, we don't have jumping zombies out. Hmm. Tough to say. Let's just try this. Maybe we could just avoid them. <laughs> I don't know if it would be all that helpful. Um. Yeah, I just don't really see. I mean, maybe I could have done split peas on something, or not split peas, but like repeaters. There's definitely maybe more I could have done. Okay, let's first off freeze you. And I probably won't use the potato mine against you soon enough. But it gave me an extra moment, I suppose. Just to sort of figure everything out. I'm definitely doing two rows of sunflowers to, or at least as many sunflowers as I can think I can manage, I guess. Got it. See, the potato mine will definitely get hit. There's no reason to worry about him whatsoever. Let's get some lightning reeds out and just make sure that they're prepared. Because they balance between zombies, that's great. I wanna make sure they're ready. Oh, so they'll even attack diagonally in a lane. So I guess maybe they probably attack in the lanes adjacent to them, because that other lightning reed's not attacking him. So I gotta keep that in mind. Sort of like a, a Snapdragon type thing, but longer range. Gotcha. So that should work out pretty well for brown coats at the least. Get that last thing there. I'll get a twin sunflower over this way. Oh, that's probably what I should put in the minecart, just for extra protection with them. There we go, that guy's done. Yeah, I really don't have anything super special to put on this besides just that. <laughs> oh, here we go, here we go. Use the lightning raid on, chicken. Oh my gosh, that's really crazy, but definitely the most effective thing we can do about it, about it because that was a lot of chickens. That was sort of scary. Um, let's get more twin sunflowers out that way. Okay, huge wave of zombies are approaching and we're gonna approach them right back. We do have some plant food to deal with them if we need to. So honestly, we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, let's, let's worry about that as well. Oh gosh, this guy actually got through. He's not very pleasant at the moment. Okay, gotta do this. Okay, that worked out pretty good. Lightning storm going through, beating everybody up. All right, I think I need to go backwards and build up some lightning reeds. I need to not go forward anymore because that's not really helping. That thundercloud is still going. Did I accidentally use another one? I may have, because that just kept going and going. That's crazy, if that was all one of them. Really crazy plant food power. We get another one. Okay, we're almost at the final battle here. Lightning reed is really cool, I like it. Okay. Let's put this in front of the bucket head just in case that's a problem, but I'll freeze them as well to be prepared. I mean, it seems like their range is really long, so it might be smarter just to build down the center. There we go. Getting the one over that way. They have over a thousand suns still, so we should be fine. I can activate one of these, and it's just gonna go crazy on them. How great is that? And that's gonna be all of them. Wowee. That wasn't hard at all. Get a coin, got more coins because of the coin bag. Awesome stuff, so the first 10 levels of the Wild West have now been completed. We got ourselves a couple new plants, including the split pea, the pea pod, and the lightning reed. Very cool, and I'm excited to see what else other things we might be able to tackle in the Wild West in the upcoming episodes. But for right now, we get a nice bag of coins. Let's exit to the map. So that was the beginning of the Wild West area, the first 10 levels, and actually four different plants unlocked. That was the chili bean, pea pod, 
Split P, and Lightning Read. I can't wait to see what other things we unlock throughout the rest of Wild West. It's gonna be a lot of fun. With that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you want to support a video, make sure you comment Cowboy Zebra Sunny and watch at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra. On the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.